wanted to do the unboxing of my new Louis Vuitton that I just recently purchased. And in no way am I trying to brag with this purchase. I just wanted you guys to see me on a more fashionable, personable level, if that makes any sense. So basically, I just wanted to show you guys stuff that I like, that I would buy. So initially, I went into the store and I didn't have any intentions of buying anything. And... I kind of felt like based upon what I had on, nobody really in there wanted to help me except for one woman. So that kind of irritated me. Not that I was going in there to buy anything, but just the simple fact nobody gave me a hello, can I get you anything, is there anything you wanted me to pull down that you wanted to see? And so it kind of pissed me off because I felt like, I hate when I go into high end stores and people judge based upon what you have on and what you don't have on before helping you and so it kind of pissed me off obviously so I decided fuck it I'm just gonna buy a purse and I really wanted a purse anyways that um, I had been looking at for a while but I kind of didn't want to get it just because I've seen a lot of people with it on but it was in more of my price range to get this purse than to get some of the other purses that I have that I feel like were more exclusive just because I wasn't going to spend $4,000 today on a purse when I really am not financially stable to spend $4,000 on a purse. So I settled for something a little cheaper and something that I felt like was in my age range as well. So with that being said, let's just get right into the bag. I usually, I don't remember what, if my old Louis Vuitton came in a little boxing thing like this. But, um, probably did. They just give you this little, like, packaging thing to hold your receipt in case you want to return it. Which I thought was kind of neat because I don't really keep up with stuff necessarily. So, keeping it in this was actually a good idea. But, um, they give you these thick papers too. Like, it's like really thick. I, feel, I felt like I was signing over for a house when I was signing the paper, the receipt for this. So, the purse that I got was the Never Fool and it says NM MM Demir I think it's spelled and so I got that purse that's the one I got and it just tells you how much you paid and what day you got it on so that's just the receipt and they put your purse in a box like this and I think the bigger well I guess whatever purse you get they give you a certain size box and inside it just looks like that. It's just pretty wrapped. They give you a duster, which usually, I think 9 times out of 10, probably 10 times out of 10, if you get a real purse, it usually comes with a duster just to keep your purse protected at all times when you're not wearing it. So it doesn't get ruined. My other Louis Vuitton has a duster, but I don't know where it is. I lost it somewhere. I probably lost it in moving. This is actually really big. Like, I could sleep in this. I could put a pillow in here. Okay, so the purse I got looks like this, and when you loosen these sides right here, it actually becomes bigger. I'm trying to loosen them so I can show you guys. Oh, and then it comes with a clasp to hold it closed like that. In the inside when you're trying to wear it smaller and more snug so all together when the purse is out and opened it just looks like this I had my eye on this for a long time but I just never was really interested in buying it but the lady kind of convinced me all the way completely when she told me that it'd be a good bag to travel with and I do travel back and forth a lot to California so I did like that and then inside it comes with a little bag like this and you can also just wear it as a clutch when you go out and just have it like that which I thought was cute because I almost felt like I was getting two bags within one and I was just paying for one bag so I got that and then I was thinking inside of this it just has like a little pocket and then it's just open like that it has like red stripes red and black stripes on the inside but I probably won't use this as a clutch and when I carry this purse I'm probably just gonna use this as like a makeup holder to keep my makeup so it's not ruining the inside of my purse so I thought that was pretty cool and then on the inside 
it's just really big and spacious a lot bigger than my other purse and it's a really good for traveling I can fit a lot more stuff I can fit a book an iPad my wallet some makeup my camera and what else do I usually have and I usually always have my phone charger with me and it just comes with one little zipper on the inside of the bag and inside the zipper it just tells you that it is the never full purse and I got the medium size and there's another size that goes bigger a size bigger than this but I kind of felt like this size was perfect for my body size and that the other size would be way too big for me so I just got this and it has it comes in a little checkered pattern and that pretty much is the whole purse I didn't want to I was thinking about getting a keychain just to make my purse a little more different than everybody else's just because I see this purse all the time but I decided to wait on it since this was already a big investment in itself but that really pretty much concludes my unboxing of my bag of the Neverfull Louis Vuitton bag and I'm really excited to wear it. I really kind of don't like these straps. I wish that they were thicker. They're kind of cheap to me. But other than that, I do really like the bag and I'm glad that I spent the money for this. That concludes my unboxing of my Neverfull Louis Vuitton purse and thanks to you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video.